inequality statements. An inequality is just a mathematical statement about comparing the sizes of numbers. And this shouldn't be uh, the first time you've been exposed to inequalities. Uh, in fact, we've even used them previously in this course when we've talked about domains and ranges of certain functions. So uh, for an example, when you see the inequality x is greater than 3, what numbers come to mind? Well, x could be uh, any number of numbers. It could be 4, it could be 6, it could be 148, and it could even be just uh, 3.00001. So it could be any range of numbers, and that's what x greater than 3 represents. So what we say is that all of these numbers, all of these, are solutions to the inequality. x greater than 3 is just one way to represent uh, the statement that all numbers greater than 3. Another way we could represent all numbers greater than 3 is with a number line. So if we were to draw a number line, and let's say we put 0 on the number line, uh, and then 1, 2, 3 over, we would find the number 3. Then the number line continues, and obviously it extends to the left as well. But if uh, we want to represent all the numbers greater than 3 on the number line, we would circle where 3 is and then squiggle fill in all of the numbers to the right, all of the numbers that are greater than 3 to the right, and show an arrow that that's extending on. Now, the reason I drew an open circle, because that open circle demonstrates that uh, 3 is not included in this set of numbers. Uh, the next number to the right of it, uh, you know, infinitesimally to the right of it, like 3.000001, that one is included, but 3 itself is not. So an open dot, which we also call empty, means that the value is not included in the set of numbers. And a closed dot, which we uh, it's just a filled in dot, we would call it a filled dot, means the value is included in the set of numbers that's being represented on the number line. We can also write this range of numbers in what we call interval notation. And the way we're going to do this is in brackets, we show the smallest value, which we have to remember means the most negative, up to the largest value, the most positive, in the range of numbers. So in interval notation, we'll, we'll be using round brackets to mean that the value is not included, like that open dot. And we'll use square brackets to mean the value is included. Like that filled in dot on a number line. And infinity always gets round brackets because infinity isn't a real number. So uh, let's consider x is uh, less than or equal to 1. And we will note that 1, x equals 1, is included in these solutions because of this equal sign. x is allowed to be equal to 1. So that's x is less than or equal to 1. So x equals 1 is included in these solutions to that inequality. Uh, so let's look at what this would look like in interval notation. So if x is less than or equal to 1, what we do is we will write the 
smallest number, and then a comma, and then the largest number, and we're going to close them in brackets. So if x is less than 1, what is the number to the furthest left on the number line, the most negative, the smallest number possible? And that is actually negative infinity. Even though it's not a real number, we'll rep use it to represent the furthest to the left along the number line that we can get. And when we use infinity, we put a round bracket around it uh, because negative infinity is not a real number. So x can't be equal to negative infinity. And then the largest number on the right-hand side of the number line that x can be equal to is 1. x is less than or equal to 1. And because 1 is included, we put square brackets around it. Now, there wouldn't be those underlinings. I just wanted to show you the spots that we have to fill in in interval notation. So I would usually write it just like this. Round bracket, negative infinity to 1 and then a square bracket. So that's representing all the numbers from negative infinity up to and including 1. Now we'll do an example together. We have this inequality. Negative 19 is greater than x. We want to graph the solution to the inequality on a number line, and then we want to write it in interval notation. So to start with, let's do the number line number line so I'm just gonna sketch out the number line and uh, we have negative 19 is the interesting value on the number line so let's mark it sort of near the middle negative 19 and 0 is somewhere over here uh, on the right of that and then we're gonna go ahead and graph that X is less than negative 19. So being less than means you're to the left of it, and it's an open dot because it can't be equal to negative 19. So that's our graph of the solutions to this inequality. Any of the numbers to the left of negative 19 would be solutions. And then we can go ahead and write this in interval notation. And it's actually a bit easier to do once we have the number line down. At least I find it easier to do because visually I can see very easily what the ends of this interval of the x values are. On one end, down here on the left, I have negative infinity, the most negative, negative number you can get. And on the right, we have 19, negative 19, I should say. So I find that having the number line makes it pretty uh, straightforward to see what the ends of my interval notation are. Now negative infinity, because it's infinity, it never gets a square bracket because x can't actually equal negative infinity. Uh, and then we have a comma. And then the largest possible value x can be, the most positive possible value, which in this case is negative 19. And that's where the interval ends. And then we cap it off with a round bracket because x cannot be equal to negative 19. It can just get as close as humanly possible to negative 19 without touching it. And, and that's like infinitesimally close, what we mean there. Uh, so for example, a value that's just a little, little bit to the left of negative 19 would be negative 19.00000001. But that's not even the closest value, because obviously we could add more and more zeros. So we're getting into a concept of infinity here, which we don't really want to get into in this course. But that's what uh, that open circle means, is it's that number to the infinitesimally to the left of negative 19. And that's what that round bracket means as well.